What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up. All my motherfucking all nighters out there, stand up and stay stand in this video, bro. We got a exclusive as special as ridiculous as video, man. Literally with the pun intended and everything, bro. So basically, do you guys watch any high school basketball? I'm gonna be 100% honest with Flight Crew right now. I do not watch no type of high school or college basketball, especially college basketball as much as I used to back in the day. But if there's one person you should watch that is in one of the two categories I just explained, he's in high school named LaMelo Ball. This man apparently dropped 92 fucking points, 41 points in the fourth quarter. We got the full hollers from Ballers Life, man. Shout out to Ballers Life, man. Let's get it! Watch this live in full effect, bro. Because the man LaMelo, he actually he's, he has like Steph Curry range. For you guys that are unfamiliar with how he plays, like he literally just steps in the half court and drains a, a three. Like him and his brother. Basic ass windmill, bit. <laughs> what is it, senior night, bit? Yeah. That's crazy. And were they at a were they the away team or they were no I'm pretty sure they were home. That's crazy, bro. It's on senior night too. You guys don't know what senior night is that are in high school. It's basically a special night for seniors. It's pretty much self-explanatory for me. But like that's where all the parents come out. Like all the parents, some scouts come out there for y'all hoopers out there in our high school. Be aware of that too. They actually scouts do come out to shit like that. Jello's fondest memory playing for the Huskies is winning the national championship. After graduating, Jello would be ready to, to get in the game mode. Jello also lives with Camino. His message, I just want to say thank you to everyone. <laughs> that man pushed him to the side like, nah, I got to hold my wife. That's my lady. That's how you was made, boy. Let me hold that lady there. <laughs> That's a real nigga high key, dude. So, yes, this is the full highlights again, flight crew. Uh, if you guys pay attention to high school too, they don't have the exact NBA or college commentary. So it's just basically, you know what I'm saying? The actual fucking gym sound and shit. <laughs> the ball, ball bouncing up, the rest blowing the whistle, dude. So you got your man Flight in the Cut as an exclusive Bobito Garcia edition commentator out this bitch. Oh, fuck no, baby. I'm sorry. I'm not going to pause this shit too much because I want to focus on LaMelo. But my man, I cannot take anybody shooting that. I can't take anybody seriously in life if he's shooting like that. He had his whole knee about the fucking chin in his ass, bro. Oh, shit. That wasn't even a foul. I'll be mad if I was J. Mmm. It's just leaving Jen in the corner, boo. Damn, nigga, you suck. Touchdown. Oh! Hey! That was nice. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, shit! Yo, Jen jumped over his ass. Holy shit! Rewind that motherfucker back, bro. So much happened. So much activity happened on this play. <laughs> That's some shit Cash ass would do with his non handly ass. That nigga almost slipped, and that was a travel, bro. I realized that shit. That was a travel. They didn't even call that shit. He skidded. Ooh. Yeah, Lamelo has a very weird shot, y'all boys. But it's better than the other kid that was on the team, but that shot with his knee about to hit him in the chin, dude. I ain't never seen nobody shoot like that before. Oh, shit! Get that dang clap, boy! Gonna block it. Ooh, yo, chick, yo, number. Who the hell is that? 
That man Lamelo pushing it. Ooh, I like that. I like that explosiveness, bit. Boy, you gotta bench that nigga, bro. He hit the top of the backboard on a layup. Woo! He the next Steph Curry, man. Yo, team in the yellow is trash. How you miss that layup? You better dunk. Come on, Lamelo. Lamelo gotta dunk that, bro. No ups, big. Zero. <laughs> His name zero is for zero ups. Damn, Jay, how you turn it over after stealing it and then when you get back on D? Lamelo with these bomb passes. Oh! They let him get right to the rack, bro. Nice pass. Oh, no handle having ass nigga. He just gave up on the fucking play, bro. Hell fucking no. Nah. Hell nah, bro. I can tell you from my experience, bitch, playing one fucking year in high school basketball, ninth motherfucking grade. Laugh all you damn want to, you little flight crew savages, but your boy flight was hooping when I was about five foot three, barely 115, 20 pounds at most. Yeah, nigga. If a coach seen you do some shit like this, bro, the worst part is, is that he gave up on the fucking play. He gave up on the play. At least foul the nigga, you feel me? And not let him make him earn his shit at the free throw line. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, put him on the line, coach. Put that man on the line. Damn. Damn. Yo, Team the Yellow's trash, bro. They getting their ass shitted on and shitted on some more. LaMelo. LaMelo. Yeah. Ooh. I'm asleep. <laughs> these dudes are garbage, dude. Gosh. Send these niggas to the fucking middle school league, boy. Give these guys some fundamentals. Lord have mercy. Ooh, that has a that has he though. That has he though. Hey, what y'all think is rating gonna be in 2K when he finally gets to the NBA? In like three or five years? He probably gonna start off at like an 80 with like a 95-3. He's gonna be one of those players that, that, that are low overalls and they just have a huge ass fucking um three. And if you see anything blurring up or freezing a little bit, by the way, flight crew, that is baller's life. That is not me. It did it again, by the way. Y'all happen to catch that. It looks like a little pixel little pixelette shit. That'll happen from time to time after a cut. Wow. They letting this man score at will. I wouldn't even give the ball back, nigga. Nice layup. I like that. Oh.
I thought he was going to finish that bad boy. I thought we don't finish that bad boy. Damn. That was the slowest shot I ever seen in history, bitch. <laughs> Yo, they bombing that shit. That was a travel. <laughs> Third period comes to an end. They literally leading 103 to 70, motherfucking nine. Spare up that all nighter throughout this bit. Ooh, that's the first time I seen Buddy get ripped. He better dunk. You suck. No up having ass jits, bro. What the hell's wrong with this generation, man? See, me, I would have dunked that probably. Nigga, that's a fucking backcourt. Jeez. Did he not call shit in high school? Oh. Hell fucking no. Jit is crazy. They just leaving them open. LaMelo cherry picking, bitch. I thought he was on. Oh, he got his own board. I like this man hustle, bro. I guarantee you nine times out of ten of these players, they would have been down the court already. Yeah. He definitely probably would have been back on defense if he was a different player, but he's not. He's a, he's above average. Yeah, LaMelo dude is definitely going to be a star in the league, bro. My only biggest concern, honestly, with him is just his weight. You feel me? He definitely needs to get his weight up, my nigga. Like. Cherry picking though. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. Oh! He shitted in that dude's face, boy. That boy need to take a seat, take off his jersey, burn that shit, and burn his fucking defense, my nigga. Damn. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, my nigga. Like, LaMelo most definitely. Deserve all these points, but he wouldn't have been able to score this much if he was in definitely college level, bro. The cherry picking. Fuck! That nigga get fouled too. That man got fouled too, man. I just don't give him the ball. It don't matter, double teams. <laughs> See, that's the thing I miss about the high school shit, bro. Like. Those are real, genuine love fans right there, bro. You see, college is the same thing, too. NBA is more filled with bandwagoners, in my opinion. Bandwagoners and people that just happen to go there to the games just to go to the games. But high school and college, like, those are actual, genuine fans that want to see their teams play. And that's all that matters, man. <laughs> Yo, you see that kid in gray jacket on the sideline, bro? Them niggas get jiggy with that, 
know what the score is. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm sweet. He's just trying to give it to LaMelo. Woo! See, that's the benefits of being a three-point bomb. It'll be so easy to make them hezzy moves. a fucking hooper boy <laughs> didn't you know this highlight <laughs> oh shit yeah, LaMelo is stud, bro. But, hey, you can't laugh like you. Homie was cherry-picking like a mofo in the beginning, bro. All game. Fuck that. If he had, like like I'm saying, if he played college, honestly, and he was trying to put up 92, he definitely would have had at least, like, 70, maybe 60 of that, bro. Because you got to think about it, man. At least on a college level, they are a bit faster. High school, most of these dudes, too, or not most of them, you gotta realize that even on a varsity, so many people can be freshmen. And you know, all freshmen, sophomores, we can say all they want about them, bro. They be good, potential, all that. But at the end of the day, bro, their stamina, all the skill level is just not up to its peak, 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 because you know what I'm saying? They're young. You know, for the fact of that, LaMelo's obviously a little bit ahead of his stage and age, at least by at least three to five years, especially within his time frame and generation. Like I said, I already think this man's gonna be an NBA star. Do I think he would have scored 92 points at least on a college level? Hell to the fuck. Know maybe in a game like this, and even if it's on fire and everything, and everything hit, I think you'll hit like maybe 40 or 50 points. If that, bro, because you gotta think about it, the cherry picking was real in this game. It's real. I give people credit for where it's deserved. I'm most definitely probably after this video, much more of a heavier fan of LaMelo Mall and his brother. But, bro, like that cherry picking, man, he I hope he just does not get used to that shit in the next level because it's just not gonna happen. It's like the same thing of you see them college football teams trying to bring that option play shit to the NFL. That's not gonna work. People like fucking Dwight Freeney, like all the big ass linebackers, man, Pro Bowl linebackers, they love plays like that, bro. They live, die, breathe, shit, sleep for plays like that in practice, bro, because they can put their full hit stick on motherfuckers like that because they're so much faster on a level. But hey, like, what do you think down below? If LaMelo happened to play a normal college team, maybe not even happen to be ranked, just a college basketball team, D1 college basketball team, do you think he would have had the same exact outcome as his 92 point differential, man? And that's the thing that scares me, too, about the high school teams is because a lot of people will really get a fuck up to a point where they'll be telling the NBA player, oh, they're going to be future Hall of Famers, this and that just by watching these high school games and you know you can't really make great assumptions or predictions about somebody just from high school you can definitely have a lead but you can't really be so quick to say certain shit to that high level until they go up into the next level but I don't know man